Hi, Mustangs families. This is Miss Beth, and I'm here to do an art project with you today. We are gonna be making some homemade paint, and we are gonna make that by using flour, salt, and water, and food coloring. I used three colors, four colors, here we go. Sorry, I couldn't find my colors. So I've got yellow, red, green, blue. Now I've already done yellow, or yes, yellow, green, and blue. I'll show you those in a minute. I'm gonna show you how to make it with the red food coloring. What you will have to do is you wanna start off with your salt and you wanna measure out one fourth cup of salt. Now this is a half cup, but inside of my half cup, I have a one fourth cup. So I did that first. I measured my salt, I put it in my container. The next step is you wanna measure out a half cup of flour. So I measured out my half cup of flour and I put it in my container with the salt. Then I'm gonna mix it together. So in this container, I have one fourth cup of salt, one half cup of flour, and once you kind of mix it together, you can use a spoon or a fork or whatever you'd like to use. I'm just shaking it a little bit easier. Then you want to make sure you get a half cup of water. Now this isn't perfect measurement. It's pretty dang close, but it's not perfect. You're going to take your food coloring and you're going to put as much food coloring in there as you would like. I like mine to be kind of a deep, rich color, so I'm kind of just going to pour a lot in there. So you kind of want to swirl your measuring cup around or whatever it is that you put it in. I just grabbed a measuring cup. So kind of swirl it and let the water and the color mix. Then you're gonna take that and pour it into your flour and salt. Now it looks kind of weird right now. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of hard. I wish I had somebody to help me film. All right, so it looks kind of like that. Then what you're going to do, there we go, what you're going to do is mix it together. I use this spoon, or my measuring spoon, I used this earlier to mix the yellow. So I'm just going to use the other side to mix the red. If you're outside, like me, because this can get kind of messy, then you can also use a stick to mix if you don't want to dirty any of the dishes up. Or if you're really daring, you can use your hand, but I didn't want to mix it with my hand which either way doesn't matter how you mix it just mix it <laughs> and it's gonna be a little bit chunky you kind of want it to be a little chunky you don't want it to be too runny if it's too runny add a little bit more flour I haven't run into that problem but that could happen so if that does happen just add some more flour. All right, so let me show you guys all the colors that I have. Now I have red. I mixed this earlier. Here's green. You can tell as you leave it, it gets a little bit thicker, which is good. You want it to be kind of thick. It's easier to paint with. I've got yellow and here's blue. So what you'll do is, now if you don't want to put your fingers in there, that's totally fine. I like getting messy, so I'm going to put my hand in there now i didn't want to use it with the spoon because i was afraid to get the dye on me but now that it's got all the mix together it shouldn't stain your fingers or anything i say that but hopefully it doesn't so then you'll just take it dip your finger in it and paint on the ground and the good thing is is that this should just wash right off with water. There you have it. That's how you can make some homemade paint with flour, salt, and water. <laughs> 